Hey, Wizard here from GimmeEgg.com. Here we are today back in Dragon Ball The Breakers going for the Thanks A Bunch achievement. This is to rescue five civilians in a single game. This one's going to be done in an online match. You're going to want to be on the survivor side for this, so make sure you set that as your role. Make sure you get into the game. Civilians are actually going to be pretty common. However, if you are still trying to learn the map, if you can, try to find a civilian radar as early as possible, and this should give you their exact location. So if you can find one at the start of the game, this is going to set you up for a really good start and you can go for the achievement right away. So just make sure you use your radar and then just look for the people icon and you should be able to locate the civilians. They are pretty much going to appear in caves or in buildings. So again, they're going to be pretty obvious to where they spawn. So I recommend just staying on the periphery of the map and then trying to look for them in the spots, namely the caves or the buildings that are going to be as far from the raider as possible. Once you find a civilian, just go up to them and then hold the Y button to rescue them. You're going to fill out this progress bar. As soon as you rescue a civilian, they're going to drop the cubes which you can put towards your dragon chain, so feel free to pick those up so you can power up later. This should also allow you to transform early, which is going to be a good getaway in case the raider does show up. Civilians are also going to tend to appear in bunches, so just make sure you look around the area and you should find a bunch, especially in high cave or high building density locations. So just make sure you just keep rescuing them and then hopefully you should be able to bank a bunch in the same location. And then once you clean up the spot, just make sure you move on to the next high cave or building density location and then start looking for more survivors. Do keep in mind that the raiders can kill the civilians, which is going to be how they power up, so make sure you are a little quick on this. It's going to be easier to do this at the beginning of the match, but there should be plenty of civilians to go around for both parties. You're also going to be in competition with your fellow survivors, so make sure you try to get to the civilians before they do, or hopefully they are working on other things besides the civilians. But if you can get into a really good civilian rich area, you should be good for all five rather quickly at the beginning of the match. Once you get enough dragon change, make sure you transform and that should allow you to fly across the map and then move on to the next spot. And then just keep rescuing people until you get your five. So just make sure you just focus on this and you should be good for the achievement. And then hopefully you can get back to working on the objective. So here we are moving across the map after we've cleared out that location and we're here in the city where all the buildings are, another civilian rich area. We're just going to go into a building and then get our fifth and final person. Again, using the radar isn't going to be necessary, however it is super useful if you are new to the game and are still learning the maps. But nonetheless, once you do manage to get five civilians saved in one game, you should be good for your achievement. There it is, this one's going to be for 15 gamer score. And that's all there is to it.